this is your soul. Your soul is your passions and emotions and desires and so forth, right? <laughs> Now, if you uh, use your mind, right, your soul is constantly influencing your mind. Right? Now, if I have a desire in your soul, in the soul that says, um, I don't want pain. Couldn't fear be over there too? Well, fear is an emotion. Okay. Yep. So let's say that the, the emotion that I have is I don't want pain, right? In fact, I'm in a state of panic. Let's say I panic when I think about pain. Like I'm terrified of pain. Now, if I'm terrified of pain, the feeling going to the mind is avoid all pain. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So what will the mind do? The mind's just this computer, right? It's this processing unit that's going to do exactly what it's told. Mm -hmm. uh, and if, the t if it's being told, avoid all pain, avoid all pain, avoid all pain, from the soul, because the soul's in a state of panic about pain, then the mind will be working against you to feel the panic. Does that make sense? Of mm -hmm. the pain. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times the pain has stopped, like it stopped when you were five, six, seven, eight, whatever, right? A lot of times. But because of the feeling of panic, this, this emotion is just frozen within you, right? And if we have a viewpoint of, I don't want pain, in other words, we are saying that we can select. Right? We're saying that we can select emotion. And it's not true. The truth is, we can't select emotion. We need to feel all the emotions. Eventually, when you feel them all and let them all fly through you, you will no longer have the emotion of panic within you. But at some point, you're going to have to feel the emotion of panic to have it released. But if the mind's getting fed this avoid everything, avoid all pain, avoid all pain, avoid all pain, then the mind will go off and say, all right, what do I do, what do I do now? You know, How many of you have felt bored? And bored is avoidance of something. But how many of you feel like you've got to eat even when you're not really hungry? Huh? That's an avoidance of something. How many of you, how many of you have felt like you've got to watch telly Right? You just gotta watch telly, you just you can't you know you can't even hardly control this eye, you just gotta go and do it, you gotta have a switch down, right? That's an avoidance of an emotion. Does that make sense? It's the soul saying avoid all pain. Every single if every desire you have is not motivated purely, in other words, motivated through an emotion that's harmonious with love, then it's motivated through then another emotion which is usually panic or you could say terror or fear, right? And if it's the fear that's coming up, and you're not conscious of the fear, and all you're doing is avoiding all pain, you're actually trying to avoid the terror or fear that you feel, right? When you do that, your mind is just going to kick in the deer and it's going to help you do it as much as you want, right? Until you have the courage to actually say to yourself, and actually feel it within yourself. I feel I want to feel everything, even if it is painful. I still want to feel it. I just feel some of it at a time. <laughs> <laughs> some of it. <laughs> everything all at once. <laughs> the soul is not made to feel it. You will not feel everything all at once. Does that make sense? Yeah. You will only feel what the soul feels it's capable of expressing. You cannot feel all of your negative emotions or the emotions that were caused from childhood that are painful. You won't feel them all at once. Right? The soul will just give it to you with a constant stream until it's gone. Yeah, because I, I think it's, it's just like they're knocking. I feel something and you're like, oh, what, what's that feeling? It's like it's, you, it's, like it's going, you, you ready to listen? Yeah, you know, yeah. But, but the problem for yourself, if I can be more specific okay. with your, okay. your situation, is that you do wish to avoid the pain, right? There is a feeling yeah. in yeah, okay. You want to run away from it, yeah. right? You want to away, run away from certain issues that would help you immensely, but you want to run away from them. Now, up to now, you've been choosing to do that, mm -hmm. 
over and over and over, saying to yourself, I'm not ready, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. Right. Ready is just a choice. Okay. Does that make sense? But it's not a choice of this. It's a choice in here. Okay. It's a choice inside you emotionally. You can tell yourself you're ready all you want here, but unless it's a feeling here where you really no longer want to go down this painful road of detuning from yourself and you now want to change it and you set your another quality of the soul is intention and you're willing to set your intention differently until you do that nothing will change it's only when you set your intention differently so let's say if my intention is to avoid all pain then I will continue avoiding all pain and trying to avoid all pain and ironically I will get more pain does that make sense? That, that is a natural result of breaking the law, is more pain. But, and when I say breaking law, when you, I'm saying, if you're avoiding an emotion within you, remember I said earlier, you are not loving you. And if you're not loving you, then that's the same as you not loving someone else. There is a penalty associated with your choice to not love yourself. Does that make sense? And not feeling an emotion, whether that emotion be panic or pain or any other emotion, is a choice to not love you. Yeah? And at some stage you need to decide, set your intention to do that differently. But that is your choice too. You have free will, so everyone has the choice to either stay in this state of avoidance, stay, stay in this state of avoiding and using the mind to filter and select, or go into this now state of setting your intention to do it totally differently, to experience everything, to actually go through everything. And when you set that intention, that'll be the time when all of the things around you operate in such a way to trigger the, the emotions in you to change. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And when, when that happens, a lot of the emotions that first come up will be the most painful ones, often. Right? The reason why is because if you release the most painful ones, then obviously you will grow very rapidly. Right? And most people at soul level, once they set their intention to grow, they want to grow as fast as they possibly can. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm.